Hello and welcome to Take Your Medicine. On today's show, I will be discussing the effect of aspirin on diuretic medication in hypertension. Firstly, what is aspirin? Well, aspirin is also known as acetyl salicylic acid. It is derived from the bark of the willow tree. Its main uses are for treating pain and inflammation. It falls under the class of drugs known as NSAIDs, which stand for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. It was found that a side effect of aspirin is that it causes an anti-adhesive effect on blood platelets. This in turn means that it prevented the clumping together of blood platelets, thereby reducing the chance of the formation of blood clots. This is adventitious in that it can help prevent strokes. I wanted to speak to you today specifically about aspirin and diuretic medication since I have had a number of patients coming in recently having problems with swelling feet and raised hypertension while using these medications together. Diuretics have a venodilator effect preceding its diuretic effect. Putting it simply, the diuretic causes a widening of the blood vessel before it has the dilatory effect which is to remove excess water and salt from the body through the kidneys. This is how it decreases high blood pressure. Now we have the aspirin which is an NSAID and this NSAID is the action of the diuretic from happening. Therefore this can lead to treatment failure of the diuretic. So how do we solve this problem? Firstly the diuretic and the aspirin should not be taken at the same time. It's preferable that the diuretic be taken in the morning on an empty stomach and the aspirin should be taken after meals since Aspirin can cause an ulcerative effect on an empty stomach, so best to take it after a meal. In order to prevent them from clashing and causing drug interaction, rather take the aspirin at night. Remember guys, other NSAIDs such as ibuprofen and diclofenac, which are used for pain treatment, may also have a similar effect. So please don't use them together with your diuretic medication. In the patients that I've treated, and spoken to. Most of them, once they had changed the medication times from taking them together to splitting them apart, have noticed a reduction in their hypertension and also the swelling had gone down in their feet. This occurred within a matter of a few days. So guys, please talk to your doctor and pharmacist about your medication. Don't change them on your own, rather get their advice first. I hope you guys enjoyed today's short video. I hope it was informative. Share this video with any of your family members or friends that you know might be on antihypertensive medication, especially the diuretics and aspirin. Please hit the like button and also subscribe. Also, you can hit the notification bell, which will notify you for all upcoming episodes. Also, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer as many questions as possible. Till next time, guys. Take care. Goodbye.